Hey there guys, Lord Frigid here, and welcome to another King's Road Almost Daily PvP upload. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the description on the last video I had for this, this is basically a series where I will be uploading every single PvP match I ever recorded. Or will record, or whatever the heck you want to say, tense wise, and I flame can that decoy! Nice! That's gonna get me killed. <laughs> um, especially since you used a potion there, wow, okay. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's really all there is to say about what this series is. I'm just uploading all, all my PvP games. I did do the, uh, the highlight reels previously, but I didn't really like all the editing that went into that. It was, it was a lot to handle. So I just ended up deciding, heck, why not just upload everything? There's... No reason not to, as far as I can see. Gives you guys a, ch a better chance to see how I do things, and uh, ha, I have potions of my own, see? I just don't use them until I see someone else using them, usually. <laughs> um, but yeah, I this commentary is actually a little... It's not live. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there right now. Um... <laughs> I it, a lot of PvP matches can get kind of intense, <laughs> and I actually do need to focus on those ones. So if I did the commentary during the match, you probably wouldn't really get a whole lot of commentary. And wow, that's a lot of decoys. I think the Scourge minions killed that one. Nice. <laughs> uh, mm, Guardian Light killed that one. Nice job, Guardian Light. You rock. Uh, but yeah, I won't be doing the commentary in the, during the matches. Instead, I will just do a little voiceover type deal with them while I do the uh, while I put the uh, while I put all the clips together. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's how this series is going to be going. Um, but yeah, now I get to talk a little bit of strategy. Now that I've kind of gone over what this series is about, this archer is going to come up from behind me pretty soon here, so I got to be wary of that. He's rain of arrows from way too far away there. I don't know what he was going for, but he couldn't properly capitalize on that stun. Hmm. Knights that come out of base with angelic form, yo. That's how you do it if you want to die. <laughs> Um, so, I guess, my staple skills. I am running a staple set of Empowered Fire Blast, Fire Blink, Flame Cannon, Water Beam, and Protection Bubble. Oh, or Guardian Light. He ran right by me. I don't blame him. Uh, oh, I went... I waited a little too long for that Flame Cannon there. Oh well. Um, I use... As my most common swap-ins, I use Nature's Blessing and Master of Ice. Master of Ice is for the auto crit, and he got way baited there. <laughs> Guardian Light ticked on him. <laughs> nice. Uh, poor guy. Okay, seriously, what is it with the knights who come out of base with angelic form? I don't get it. I'm just gonna wait here. Oh, nice, there you go. Bye. Oh, protective waves. I was kind of expecting Flame Cannon to get him. Um... This guy. His poor decoys just keep getting destroyed by Guardian Light. Um, where was I? I was talking about my staple skill set. I don't remember where I was. I'm just going to start over. I use Empowered Fire Blast, Fire Blink, Flame Cannon, Water Beam, and Guardian Light. Uh, I think I did get that far, actually. Uh, Empowered Fire Blast and Flame Cannon are just raw damage options. Fire Blink is a mobility option. It's very useful, especially when you run to run away from knights. Uh, <laughs> Water Beam is a powerful stun that gets amplified by Master of Ice. I use Master of Ice mostly for auto crit because if you don't crit on all six hits of Flame Cannon, you might not kill someone you really need to kill. Um, but with Master of Ice, you have auto crit. And yeah. As a side effect, it also boosts Water Beam. I've seen Water Beam hit for about 30k with Master of Ice active, and that's not very fun. <laughs> 
Like, if you weren't going to get killed by a raw flame cannon, using a Master of Ice boosted water beam as well is probably going to seal the deal. I'm just going to let him have that one, I think. Yeah, I'll come claim this defensive boost. Um... I use Nature's Blessing as a swap-in. It's a nice armor boost. I think at the moment I have about 1.8 million armor with Nature's Blessing active. Uh, and... Yeah. That's, that's, that's really it about on the, uh, as far as what the skills I use are and why I use them. Flame Cannon will, if you weren't aware, I have about 140% fire damage. So flame cannon is going to be one shotting a lot of people. I've had I've had people say, tell me, hey, that some something's not adding up here. And it's like, yeah, because you're not accounting for the fact that I have a ton of fire damage, probably, or that flame cannon's OP because everyone's been underestimating wizards since the beginning of the game. Okay, not the beginning of the game because in the beginning of the game only knights existed, but since wizards were introduced, um, and that irks me, <laughs> or it irked me rather. Now wizards are actually really strong, and we get to laugh. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I just want to watch this. Usually, when I get pretty far ahead in a PvP match, I'll go ahead and just sit back, not really bother with uh, trying to go after people. But I will kind of stay close, partially for the entertainment factor. I don't want to just sit there staring at the floor while the match is going on. I'd rather watch my enemies go at it, because <laughs> it's more entertaining. And partially because if I do kind of feel it slipping away a little, I would like to be right there to take control back. Um, yeah, that doesn't apply to all matches, obviously. Oh, Sir Godland, I'm going to have to run from this guy a lot. Let's get a dragon in here. Probably should have picked Avalanche, because he has a slow. Um, the way you deal with super powerful knights is slows, by the way. In case anybody was wondering. Um, go ahead and one-shot you. Oh. I need to take this guy out before you get here. Please don't kill me. And I'm stunned. What is this stun? Oh, that's Winterclaw! Uh balance. Why? <laughs> um, Winterclaw has this, like, kind of Cone of Frost type attack that stuns you, and uh, evidently King's Road decided not to uh, limit how long that stun can affect you, so I was stunned for a really long time, but fortunately he got stunned too by the, uh, by the other player respawning. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop a Drake here. He won't be able to get to me with that up, I don't think. Um, actually, since I'm doing commentary after the fact, I know he's not going to get to me. He doesn't actually get to me until the very end of the game when I decide I'm far ahead enough that I can kind of test, test my, um, effectiveness against him. And uh, as you will see, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work at all. But, uh, this is, in this phase... He's basically just chasing me around the map for, I don't know, how long was that? 20, 30 seconds, maybe? Before finally deciding that it's not worth it, and he's not getting any kills, and I'm one-shotting everybody I come across because I can. Um, like, if, if it were a match full of other players of his caliber, then I wouldn't be able to do that, because I wouldn't be able to one-shot them. But... <laughs> Yeah, here's the that the end of that game bit where I kind of try and test to see how well I would do against him. Um, I think he had stun immunity, which so that didn't really work in the first place. Also, I had the run, wrong stun option. For knights like that, you really want to use polymorph. Uh, getting in close is a little hard because there's a little bit of lag on your game positioning, so you can't just fire blink in and immediately use polymorph. You have to kind of wait a little bit, otherwise the polymorph will come out like behind you and <laughs> Yeah. It'll it'll be bad, basically. <laughs> you'll just polymorph nothing and then your opponents will be like, huh, die. Um eh, Lion's Glory stands OP. 
For those who aren't aware, the uh, Lion's Glory armor set has a stun associated with its proc. It's a really, really long stun, and it has an inc an, a disgustingly large radius. So I use that in PvP. Actually, I just I use that everywhere. Cause just, I mean, it's not just the, the stun. It, I mean, in PvE, most stuns aren't going to affect anything. But... <laughs> Um, it also gives you a, I believe it gives you a damage, defense, and movement speed boost. And those are all really nice, especially because I'm pretty sure the movement speed boost is like 50. Uh, <laughs> so that's handy. Uh, I see a lot of more powerful knights and archers running around with actual move speed gear. And it's really nice to be a wizard and not have to do that because you have fire blink. I try to use fire blink mostly defensively, actually. Although it can be used offensively. And you're coming up here. I thought this person was coming up here to just kind of like chill. Because she was super low health and I was just kind of standing out of the fight. But uh, they didn't. They tried to kill me. So I decided to uh, take the fight to them. And I note that technically it wasn't spawn camping since I hadn't died. But I guess I was feeling a little miffed that day for whatever reason. <laughs> um, or that evening, because I'm doing this like the morning after. And this is the case where you actually would want to lead with angelic form, because otherwise that's going to happen to you. Whee! Nice. Uh, <laughs> um, what else is there to talk about, really? Not much. I guess I could just start talking about the actual games. Old Toga Guy. What a name. D-Pack, K-E, not in K-E. Interesting. Warbringer, 117. See, I don't understand why... I mean, I know I'm not, my power score isn't, like, the highest in the world. It's around 45,000, I think. But the game seems to like putting me up against people in, like, the high 30s and low 40s. And I guess low 40s I'm okay with, but high 30s, that just seems mean. Um... Avalanche is nice for the frost boost. Like, and the slow. You're slowed if you're an enemy walking on the Ice Age. And it doesn't say that on the Ice Age tooltip, but it happens, in case anybody wanted to know. Uh, although you've probably experienced it if you've ever met anyone with an avalanche. Which is probably a lot of people. Uh, oh, Angelic Forum came out. So yeah, that, the, uh... The lag in the game positioning also kind of applies to skill casts. A lot of the time, you will not see your opponent cast a skill until about a second after they actually cast it. So in that case, I water beamed, thinking he didn't have angelic form on, when in fact, he did. <laughs> and that actually can work out in your favor. You can tag an archer with a water beam. Oh. Uh, as they're stone falling you, or rain of arrows in you, or whatever the heck it is that they're using. And you will both get stunned, and he will only have, he or she will only have half a second to capitalize on their stun, which is, which works out pretty nicely for you. Uh, I think this match, I knew there was no way they were going to beat me, unless I just got super careless. So I kind of just walked around with nature's blessing on and healing up when I needed to. I tried to heal Avalanche there, but he didn't want to be in my fountain. Um, I almost died, but I didn't. And I escaped. I could have just flame cannon both of them, really, but I didn't feel like it. Alrighty, next match. Two... Uh, Bane of the Fallen King members. <sighs> Both knights. And one of them is Eric Kong. You might have seen yesterday that I got him a lot yesterday. It was... It's actually interesting. Because he's on mobile, and I think that gives me... Uh, that ca cancels out a lot of his power-based advantage. But... Um... It's still, he's still very, very hard to take on. Um, yeah, 
I a lot of the time last last time this map was active in a PvP season, I actually used a lot of Frost Drake against him. I didn't actually have Greater Water or actually yeah, I was this is when I was using uh, Greater Water Mana Bolts. Flame Cannon hadn't even existed yet. Uh, so I basically used Frost Drake and ran around the map doing things. <laughs> Taking taking on the other people because there was no way I was killing him, especially without a uh, max Raider water mana bolts. And here, yeah, I'm not gonna live that <laughs> shadow wield, procking on skills, darn shadow wield. Uh, <laughs> so like I said, um, you really want to have polymorph against really powerful knights like this. And uh, unfortunately, he activated his. Uh, I'm not really sure what that rune's called. The Fire Rune for Whirl. And I was kind of caught, like, wait, I haven't activated Nature's Blessing. I didn't rotate in Teleport because of that. And now I'm just screwed. <laughs> and so obviously he killed me there. It was just a phenomenal misplay on my part. But fortunately, uh, I waited out all his stun immunity. But then it came back. But once I missed my stun on him, he took it as an opening to come back in when it really wasn't. Uh, so yeah, that was a happy piece of luck right there. A happy piece of luck coming off a terrible, terrible misplay. So <laughs> uh, I was I was kind of lucky to have won that one. Um, let's see what we have here. Okay, these people are except for him. These people are reasonably close to my power level, so that's this should be an interesting match. Um, again, I use a... Uh, I'll start my matches with uh, Nature's Blessing in the Fire Blink slot and Master of Ice in the Water Beam slot, but then I'll activate them. I usually activate Nature's Blessing about five seconds before the match begins, and then Master of Ice at the time of the match's beginning, and that'll, and then I'll swap them out. I'm not really sure what happened to my teleport there. I song definitely moved, but I did not, and I didn't have enough time to. I could have swapped in healing fountain really quickly there, but I guess I just didn't think about it, <laughs> which was a mistake. But that's how that's how it goes sometimes. Um, don't worry. Too much, or I'm not worried too much. All right, yeah, I flame cannon that guy when he had angelic form up, and I'm trying to fight a wizard under his healing fountain, which I expressly advise nobody ever do ever. Um, but I did it anyway, and that's what happens. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I'm not really sure what my thought process was there. I think I, I, I must have thought I could take him out, when obviously I couldn't. Um, yeah, by this time I knew that that knight used angelic form the instant he saw anyone. So I kind of just hit him once and poured it away. Used my flame cannon cooldown on the wizard, which was much smarter and what I should have done the first time. And yeah, because that happens. <laughs> so yeah, and that's yeah. What else can I say about that? <laughs> Got him. It counted. Nice. So this one I think is going to be the last match of this video. Hmm. Reasonably powerful folk. Summon a dragon. Scourge. Uh, I like to summon dragon before the match starts. Which dragon I summon kind of depends on. One, whose cooldowns I have off, obviously. Uh, this is the kind of weaker guy, so I just didn't even bother flame cannoning him. So it depends on which dragons I have off cooldown, primarily, and which dragon I think is right for the situation. Like, if there's... If there's a lot of archers, I, I might try for Ice Song, although I might need to change that up because I think Ice Song would be handier against 
knights because it'll proc the uh, armor skill so I don't get destroyed by frozen shield. I'll have to think about that some more. Uh, Aurelian is a very all-purpose dragon. I'll use him in any match I see fit, really. <laughs> um, mostly if it's a lot of really strong players. That's when I'll bring out Aurelian. Palladius is nice. Um, I kind of bring him out whenever I don't have... Whenever I want to summon a dragon, but don't really want to summon something like Aurelian. It's just really, really strong. Avalanche, I'll bring out against knights generally for the slowing factor. I just kind of wanted to have some fun with Polymorph at this point. At this stage of the game, since I was pretty safely ahead. And uh, now I'm stun immune too, because that guy stunned me. So I don't really have to worry too much about getting retaliated on. Um, yeah, stun immune is really nice. Also, you uh, if you if you and your dragon stand in, or actually any two people standing in the uh, buff range for the same amount of time will both get the buff. But yeah, 